It's your special wedding day. It can't go wrong. Or can it? Hello, my name is Eugene and I am a wedding celebrant, a master of ceremonies and a professional toastmaster. So I'd like to talk to you today about what I can do for you and how much I can save you and how I can make your life really special and really easy. I've been trained to the highest level as a professional wedding consultant, and this is by the Fellowship of Professional Celebrants and the Executive Guild of Toastmasters. I'll help you plan your perfect wedding day by supplying you to start off with, with a free wedding planning software. I'll help you structure your wedding ceremony and help you produce your wedding vows. On the day, I will then conduct your ceremony then host the reception as your master of ceremonies or your toastmaster. At the reception, well, we can include the receiving line, bride and groom's entrance, speeches, toasts, cutting of the cake, and of course the first dance. Nowadays weddings are, well, they're quite small. With my wedding experience, I'll actually be able to save you quite a bit of money. Now let me just give you just a couple of examples. Soft drinks, when you sit and you talk to your venue, the banqueting manager, he will talk about the children that will be there, the people that are going to be driving who won't be drinking, and they'll suggest some juice or squash is on the table. That will be, depending on the venue, anywhere between £5 and £9 a jug. If you have got a wedding of about 100 people, that's 10 tables, they will suggest three jugs per table throughout the course of the day. No, I've just gone in the middle at £7. Well, that's going to cost you £210. Why not just ask for iced water with a twist of lemon? It's free. Then, of course, the wine. Well, normally they will allocate three bottles uh, per table. And then once the bottles are opened, you will be charged for them. And that's why they open the bottles ahead of time. Any wine that is left over, well, I'll tell you what happens to that. That gets sold in the bar by the glass so it's double bubble for the venue and I'll tell you what to do and how to go about it and save you hundreds if not thousands of pounds make the day more fun how can you do this well um, I can add in a Mr and Mrs game a Mr and Mrs game and that is so much fun on the day it really really is I am also a professional entertainer I am a professional magician and if you want, I can add that little bit of magic to your special day with a mini cabaret before the speeches. Everybody will be laughing. Everybody will be in the right frame of mind. And I can, of course, use the bridegroom and the best man as the stars of this little 10 minute show. What's the problems with registrars? Well, let me tell you, they are tightly regulated. They can only do non-religious services. Services can only be held at the registry office or in the licensed venue. And even then, when you go to the licensed venue, it can only be in the licensed room. So they could have a wonderful pergola out in the garden with a wonderful backdrop. You can't use it. So you're greatly limited in terms of your options. OK, well, what can a celebrant do? Celebrant-led ceremonies, they can be fun, traditional, quirky, religious, non-religious. You can dress up, you can dress down, you can wear wellies. I have actually done a service which was done at a farm in the wellies. In fact, you can do anything you want. You can include wedding rituals, such as hand fastening, ring warming, candle lighting, rose giving, loving cups. There is so much. You can share your own words, write your own vows, choose readings and music that you want that reflects your personality. And every celebrant led wedding, they're all different. They are all personalised and they will be expressive and unique. Celebrants can hold ceremonies anywhere, even in your back garden or under the stars at night in the middle of a field. Your wedding day, the happiest day of your life. <clears throat> Until you've planned a wedding, you will not understand what the pressure and the stress is that you'll be under. Family members, friends, they are not experts. They have not been trained. 
and I've actually seen this lead to arguments and ruin wedding days, even though I've been the Toastmaster, the family have appointed somebody that has got responsibility. Having a professional is having insurance. You're buying peace of mind, ensuring that your special day is professionally planned, organized and managed by somebody that has the knowledge, expertise and experience. And experience is the key word because you will find that the banqueting manager will not listen to somebody, a friend who might be looking after the running of your day. As a member of the Fellowship of Executive Guild of Professional Toastmasters, I have been trained to the highest level, not only as a Toastmaster, but as a banqueting manager as well. I am an expert in planning Asian weddings, ethnic weddings, English weddings and same sex weddings. Your wedding day really should be the happiest day of your life. So in conclusion, with 25 years hospitality experience, my knowledge and expertise in banqueting, I will save you money on your wedding day. On one occasion, I saved a bride and groom over £8,000. That's not to be sniffed at. I'll help you plan, advise on protocol, tradition, and make recommendations for the smooth running of the day. And on the day, I will completely make sure that everything runs smoothly. Masters of ceremonies, they add a touch of class and they add a touch of style. They are the backbone of every event, making sure that everybody involved, venue, staff, suppliers, are briefed and understand what happens and when it has to happen. You've possibly spent thousands of pounds on your wedding day. Enjoy it with your friends and with your family. Call me, see how I can help you. So look, download my wedding brochure from my website, check availability and find out how much I can save you. I offer you a free, no obligation consultation or, or chat. Call me now and see what I can do for you. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye.